Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Marky J. And before I even start the main topic of this video, I just want to kind of give you guys an update because I haven't uploaded a video in a week. And I know a week is a long time for me. I know it might not be for some of you guys and some YouTubers, but a week is a long time for me. So I want to give you guys an update, a little update on what I've done with this tank because I have made a couple changes to it. I made a couple changes to the big tank that you guys are propped up on right now, but I can't show you that until because I kind of got something new and moved some stuff around. So. I'm gonna show you guys this tank, but I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading as much. I definitely will try and today's video is definitely a good one. But as you guys can see, the 55 gallon community, the glass is a little bit dirty, but everything is absolutely flourishing. Look at the bite shirt. And all the fish, all the new fish, all the older fish that I've had, and we actually took the angelfish out of this tank, but overall, because they were kind of becoming a little bit aggressive, they were pairing up and mating, so, and they were becoming a little bit aggressive towards, you know, all the community, so, oh, of course, I show, the rainbow shark gets a little bit aggressive, trust me, he does that maybe one time a week to any fish. He's very, very chill, but... Everybody in this tank is doing really, really good. As you can see, the bite shirt is getting really big. Our albino Senegal bite shirt is getting huge, especially from where I got him. He was like about that big, and now he's pushing five or six inches. So soon he will be going to the big tank. Little sneak peek. The water's blue right now, but little sneak peek on that tank. But soon he'll be going there and there, going in there with the big fish. Also, I trimmed the big plant. You guys might have known that I had, I have, and had a big plant coming up right here. I trimmed it down. I got a couple new plants in here. You can see some of the, um, some more moss in the back just to kind of fill things in because I have some good future plants and also the bicher really likes going down in that moss as you can see he's been very very active today but all the floating plants are doing really good got a bunch of pothos in the back too now and everything's just doing really really good in this tank but I know what you guys came here for so I'm gonna just throw you guys to that so see you guys well I don't know if I'll see you after this video <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all we're back inside it's literally about five minutes we killed this guy everything euthanized him he's all good and now he's in here with this flower see i'll show you the legs in a second but uh you know i'm just gonna get him nice and bad enough show you what they're supposed to look like just like that i'm probably put a little bit more on there but check it out oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna cook this thing, not get popped by the by the oil, by the grease. Yeah. That frog is twerking. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come closer to Twerk, 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 twerk. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's past my bed. She was ready. She was ready. Alright y'all, I just flipped it. And uh, my dad wasn't recording when I actually flipped it. Right? I right. showed you guys when I flipped it. But uh, yeah, it's flipped now, so we're just gonna we're just gonna let it sit in the grease and uh, see y'all when it's done. Really good. So if you guys have a pond and you have frogs in it, go out there, grab them. Mom, you said wow. Wow. <laughs> go out there, wrangle them at night because they'll be out at night. And then you go out there, and you have good meat, awesome frogs. So I will see you guys on the next one. Be awesome. Catch your neighborhood frogs and peace out. Oh.